What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkFix.net, and we're inside of Microsoft Access. And what we're going to be doing here, let's say that you have a database, and your database has, let's say, eight tables. Two of them tables, however, are growing rapidly. And so you're getting ready to run out of space within your table. And within Access, if your tables start to grow and get bigger and bigger, almost to their limit, then this is going to slow down your uh, data accessing, as in retrieving data from your database. It's going to slow down very greatly. So I would strongly suggest going over to SQL Server uh, if you start to run into a time issue within your database. So anyway, with your two tables that are rapidly growing, you want to move these tables into another database. And uh, so how you do that is, for one, you have to create a new database. So let's go ahead and uh, create, right, click, create a new database. And we want to save this one. I'm really going to have to make this thing to where it's going to the same location. Okay, we want to have a um, uh, our table one, create. And then let's go ahead and uh, do the same thing. Let's create another one that keeps on going back the same thing. Gonna have to go in and do change them settings. Microsoft Office Access. And we want to do this one for our table two. So let's click OK and choose Create OK now. Let's go ahead and, um, yes. OK, and it closed on us. I did not want it to close. Okay, enable content. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we want to save or export our table into our database. So we right click and choose export and choose access and then choose browse and then go over here to our location. And then inside of here, we, we're doing table one, so we want to choose our table one. Click that, click OK, and we want to export definitions and data. That's very important. You want to have all the information sent over. Then choose OK, and then choose Close. Come over here to our table two, export, access, and then choose Browse, and choose table two. Click OK, and the same thing, definitions and data, choose OK and then choose close. Okay, now this right here will allow you to um, now uh, basically no longer use this database and so uh, for accessing them to uh, tables. So the best thing to do is that if you've got eight more tables, then what you want to do is go in yonder and create another database and then move them or export them eight tables over to the new database and then just go in here and change the records. And then follow my instructions on how to connect all these databases together through the video link right here. And then you will be able to connect all these databases together and work within them as they are one single database. And without having to change much of your coding within your website or your data structure. Okay, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net. Y'all have a rockin' rest of the week now. Bye-bye.